I am Dr. Sanjeev Saxena, Chairman, Department of Renal Sciences, PSRI Hospital, New Delhi. Diabetes is a very common disease in India. In fact, India has the largest number of diabetic patients in the world and that is why it is called the diabetic capital of the world. Diabetes is a disease which affects virtually every organ of the body and diabetic nephropathy is involvement of the kidney because of the diabetes. Now if you have diabetes, how are the chances of your developing diabetic nephropathy? About one third of the patients with diabetes will develop nephropathy and these are patients who have high blood pressure also. Second, these are patients who have family history of high uh, blood pressure and family history of diabetic nephropathy. So these patients should specially take care of development of diabetic nephropathy. How can you pick up early diabetic nephropathy? You can do a simple urine microalbuminuria test which picks up diabetes involvement of the kidney before actual proteinuria occurs. Actual proteinuria generally takes a little more time and at the stage of microalbuminuria one can give medicines which can re retard the progression of diabetic nephropathy. The earliest symptom that the patients report is frothing in the urine when they pass urine in the toilet and development of swelling in the feet especially after long travel. These two symptoms are early symptoms. The other is development of diabetic retinopathy. So you must get your retina checked once a year if you have diabetes. If you have diabetic retinal involvement then chances are that you are likely to develop diabetic kidney disease. So early symptoms occur when proteinuria happens which is quite late in the disease. So if you have diabetes every year you must check for microalbuminuria. You should get your hypertension checked and should control both of them. Good control of sugar as well as high blood pressure with medicines as well as dietary restrictions. Once you develop diabetic nephropathy then the disease progresses but there are newer drugs like ACE inhibitors, ARBs, then you have what are called SGLT2 inhibitors and the immunocorticoid receptor antagonist. These are newer molecules, newer drugs but they are cheap and freely available in our country and therefore these will help you in slowing the progression of diabetic nephropathy. Besides these medicines, you should control your sugar and blood pressure well. You should consult a dietitian and an appropriate diabetic diet as well as diet related to the kidney which means mild restriction in proteins and restriction of salt and potassium is often needed in most of these patients. And you should be in constant touch with a regular nephrologist. Still the disease may progress and you may reach what is called the diabetic end stage kidney disease which means now you have to go on to dialysis or kidney transplant. Dialysis gives you good quality life and longevity. Should you have no cardiac issues or other complications you can also go for a kidney transplant. It is essential that the donor should be well matched, should be from the family and all the other complications should be not present which make you a high risk for kidney transplant. Post transplant the life is excellent, sugar control is a little bit vary but with good medical treatment sugar control can be done. Diabetic are not at all not fit for a kidney transplant than dialysis and therefore both are good options for end stage kidney disease in diabetics. Thank you.